Hello, and this time I'm talking about um, the rules of sequences and the difference between the term-to-term -term rule and the position-to-term rule. So I'm going to need a sequence to start talking about. So I'm going to have this one, 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. This is like my go-to sequence that if I ever need to write one down, it just pops into my head. And um, so let's have a look at what this sequence is all about. Okay, it's going up by three each time. It's an arithmetic sequence, it's ascending, and the term-to-term -term rule is plus three. And what does that mean? It means the rule, the maths, that goes from one term to the next term. So if I want to know the next term in the sequence, then I simply follow what the term-to-term -term rule says, which is add three. So to get the next term, I add three, 17. And for the next one, I add 3, it's 20. The term-to-term -term rule is literally the maths, the rule, mathematical rule, that tells you what the next term is from the previous, from one term to the next term, or the term-to-term -term rule. And that's very different from the position-to-term rule. The position in a sequence is where you are. So are you first? Are you second? Are you the third term or the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh? You get the idea. The position to term rule, I'm going to say, is far superior to the term to term rule. And it, it's slightly more complicated, it takes slightly more thought process, um, but it's so much more useful unless you literally do want just the next term. If I want to know what the 107th term is, well, how am I going to get there? By term to term, I'm going to have to say, okay, well, for the 107th, I'll need the 106th, the 105th, the 104th, etc. So I need to go from the 7th term and go all the way up, all the way up doing all of the terms until I get to 107th, and I hope I don't make a mistake, because if I make a mess of one of them, let's say I say the 8th and I accidentally add 3 but write down 24 instead of 23, just a silly mistake, just a typo, but now the ninth term is going to be wrong. I could correctly add seven, uh, add seven, add three and get 27, but we know that that's wrong because there's a mistake here. So really, really unhelpful, um, long-winded, prone to mistakes, etc., etc., to go if you want to leap up to a, a, a term higher in the sequence. But the position to term rule helps us out. Now, this video is not about how to work out the position to term rule, or some of you might have heard of it as the nth term rule. Um, this is just to say what it does. So if the uh, position to term rule was to times by three and take away one, okay, so that's the position to term rule, you have to do two steps, then you can take any place that you are in the sequence and do that, and it should tell you what the value is. Let's try it. For the fourth term, times it by 3, you get 12. So what am I times in by 3? I'm times in the number 4. If we're the fourth term, then I use the number 4 to work out the value of the sequence. So 4 times 3 is 12. Take 1. Yes, it's 11. What about the seventh term? 7 times 3 is 21. Take away 1 is 20. It's working. So what I can do is I can say, okay, for my 107th term, all I have to do is times it by 3, and I get, so 107 times 3 is 321, take away 1, and I get 300, and, oops, 320 is the 107th term. Really quick and easy. One term to term rule uh, goes from one term to the next and was a nice easy rule, plus three, dead easy. The position to term rule, the other, the second variation, if you like, the position to term rule says, where are you, and how to work out the value for where you are. And it's often a more complicated rule, so in this case it's got several things to happen. You might see it written out with an n in it, so you might see it written out like this, three n minus one, and all that means is the number n is this position, so it is 4. 3 times 4, take 1. It is 7, if you want the 7th term. 3 times 7, take 1. It is 107, if that's the term you want. 3 times 107, take 1.
Okay, but that's the difference between term to term rule and position to term rules. One tells you the next term and one says, well, where are you? And I can use that number to work out what the value of the sequence is at that position, what that term value is, literally from the position to the value of the term. If that does not make sense to you and you need to ask questions, then pop them down in the comments. But otherwise, cheerio.